Thank you so much. Uh, 90% I'm going to uh, will join the Aria shift. And then for this one, let my, this Christmas thing get over and probably will be in January. Yep. Just remember, gifts, okay. gifts, I'll, I'll gifts, would. gifts to people is nothing that will ever make a return on investment to you. It's one of the biggest things right. I tell everybody um, because uh -huh. when I talk to them about the holidays, everyone's like, "Yeah, I gotta buy gifts for my 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 family members and this and that." And I'm like, "Okay, you'll always be broke." All right. Okay. So just just sure. don't don't okay. don't feel as though that the gifts that you give to your loved ones is something that's gonna make them love you any differently. All right. So right away. Um, that guy's not going to join the program, right? I already know. Like, it says that it's closed. So that guy's not going to join the program. He he's he's been trying to do this real estate thing, and I knew from the from before I even called him because of his application. Like I said, he didn't fill two of the points out, right? He um, anytime I've interacted with him in the past, he's asked questions about the most rudimentary things. Um, he's looking for the silver bullet on how he's gonna make money tomorrow. And people like that, typically, they'll always be broke. Because that's not the answer to wealth and that's not the answer to life. Um, as soon as you talk about, oh, well, let me wait until after the holidays, uh, this Christmas thing, when you call Christmas a thing, um, the expectation that you have uh, for your children, like you're gonna, so, so you're gonna say, oh, well, I need to spend money, I need to make sure my kids have Christmas presents. Do you think your kids want Christmas presents or do you think your kids would rather not have to worry about paying for their own college? You think your kids would rather not have to deal with you being a broke fucking 80 year old and them having to start pay for all your shit for the rest of their life? They, th they think that things are gonna be solved with their loved ones on, on, on the holidays. I, I don't buy my family shit. I could afford to buy my family a house if I wanted to. I don't fucking buy them a house, do I? Like, no, because I, don't, I, I buy them the cheapest things that are going to be the most impactful in our life and sometimes it's literally a book about wealth because wealthy people don't aimlessly blow their money on their family members this ain't fucking the youtube channels that just you know buy people random fucking lamborghinis and rolexes for you know uh <laughs> for a gift because they're trying to get views stuff like that irritates me because that guy you can you know he makes under a hundred thousand dollars a year Right, and he's talking about buying, you know, uh, that Christmas is is the determining factor on if he's going to end up, you know, interacting and having one on one coaching with somebody, and that's why there's different levels of people in this world. Oh yeah, um, we are headed to uh, Ryan Dossie's coaching groups program here. He's got a, a coaching group that he does, uh, CCF Cash. Creative cash, creative cash flow. flow, thank you. Um, and we're headed um, there right now. I think it started about 45 minutes ago or so. And uh, later today, I'm gonna give everybody our run through of REI SIF. About 60% of them, I think, that are gonna be there are already REI SIF users. So I'm gonna help them out, let them know what, you know, what they could do to get the most out of REI SIF and hopefully get the other 40%, you know, uh, convinced that it's something they need in their business. Uh, but more than anything, just to, you know, support Ryan and uh, be there for for his uh, CCFers. There's been eight submissions today for for the VAs. So there's uh, as of now, since we launched it on Monday, so in the last five days. We've had 20, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Uh, people for assistance, which is pretty fucking awesome. 48 people that are going to have ninjas, some, some of them multiple ninjas, um, being able to work for them in their business so they don't have to anymore, uh, so they can spend more time focusing on what they need to be focused on and less time you know, doing the remedial tasks in their business, be it cold calling, lead management, you know, have an assistant, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's really awesome. It, to me, when I see this, I see 48 CEOs that are about to actually step closer to being an actual CEO and not just an employee. So. I actually ended up just refreshing the screen and there was actually another one. One more, so it's 49 now. It's 49, not 48. Nevertheless, uh, really excited to, to help individuals uh, be more of what they should be in their business uh, from an owner's perspective 
uh, and scale their companies. You know, it's, it's nice when you have people working in your business and all you gotta worry about is like, are they doing their job and are we making money? That's what you need to get your business to. So, 49 people, one step closer. thought that we were going to talk today, um, there's miscommunication there, we actually, I'll, I'll be talking tomorrow, um, so we'll be back tomorrow, you guys will see some more conversations tomorrow, and, uh, and then me giving my little talk, um, so, but today was great, today had, there's a lot of really awesome conversation that happened, a lot of, um, you know, Ryan's students um, are, are killing it and they uh, present a lot of the same problems of like because they're achieving success you know will it sustain or are they like the type of person that should be having these successes and stuff and i think that's really awesome conversation that's really what makes masterminds and these types of you know events so powerful is to be able to talk through those so i'm excited tomorrow to talk about how REI SIFT in general is going to be a huge asset to being able to know that that success that they are having is sustainable um, and how REI SIFT can really be that uh, comforting uh, blanket you know on their business uh, giving them the insight that they need um, to do so. Um, a lot of uh, individuals there actually are, are, are already REI SIFT users so um, had some good conversations with them and uh, how much it's impacted their business and how it's changed their business so I'm excited to um, do that for some more individuals tomorrow D for D okay so when you're D for D are you D for D to do direct mail or are you D for D to mail or cobalt okay and mail both pointing out the problems that I know that they're having and I think by using like a customer to show that, um, I think it really drives things home and like the impact that just one change could make, right? Even with him, like, listen, you're, I know you're using this, I know you're doing this, but this is where you're like losing out on a ton of revenue. And he even came up to me afterwards like, dude, I really need to start digging in a little bit more. You're right, I'm missing like a ton of money. All right, so day two, uh, I think it's Saturday. Anyway, it's the 6th of November. Uh, Ryan Dossi has this uh, CCF dealio going on, which is absolutely amazing, and uh, the people here are fantastic. So today I spoke a little bit about, we dug into someone's account that was already a user, showed them you know, what they were doing wrong, put them on blast, which he was really appreciated for, believe it or not, um, and uh, it was really, really good. I think people understood the value of not only REI SIFT, but you know, what they can do better in their business with or without the platform, um, which is really the intent, right? Not to sell REI SIFT, but to just give as much value as we can and um, helping people be better at being CEOs and marketers. Um, this morning before I came here, I had a call with Military the Millionaire. So if you're guys, any veterans out there and you don't follow him, check him out on IG. Um, he has a group, uh, I believe, called the War Room, which ironically, I have Allies War Room. Uh, not to be confused, it's the same thing. And uh, so I gave a talk on there, it's about 30 or 35 or 40 or something like that, uh, veterans and active duty individuals there that I also um, gave the same spiel as I did today basically on. Um, so as of today, man, we, we impacted probably roughly 100 individuals um, on marketing. So it was, it was a good day. I ate a little bit of a Sammy just now. Um, I think it was tuna, not really sure, but it was good. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful day here in Pensacola, Florida. So excited for the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of seeing this weekend. And uh, comment below if you enjoy this type of content. And if you do, we'll start doing some more on it. Uh, we definitely also have sneak peek little teaser if you stayed to the end of this whole video um we're coming out with some cooking content because i just spent fifteen hundred dollars on an outside like uh fireplace uh, accidentally meaning i was meaning to spend 500 and i got upsold like a chump um so now we got to do something with it and so there's going to be some some steaks and some really nice things happening there so i know i know there's some people in here that might like food so um, it's really more for my own sanity though. So look forward to that. But thank you guys so much. Peace out. If you guys have any questions about marketing or anything, be sure to check out reisif.io. Later.